will expect the price to be higher than usual i love it but i see that there's a lot of downside to this design and i don't know why they do it this way hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel i am murphy and currently as i'm recording this video i am an sa here in louis vuitton singapore and this video or this channel is mostly about louis vuitton updates louis vuitton products and um, luxury brand updates in general so if you are a self-proclaimed louis vuitton or luxury brand fanatic please do not forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated we have a new bag to discuss it is called why not because it has a knot on the top of the handle and Louis Vuitton is trying to be creative with their name, so yeah, why not? So this has just been launched last week and I actually posted it on my Instagram. Um, this is a Mahina leather line, so expect the price to be higher than usual. I love it, but I see that there's a lot of downside to this design and I don't know why they do it this way. But uh, let us start with the most basic, which is the material. The material is Mahina leather. It is a premium leather. Um, it's a laser cut through and through to achieve that monogram print. This is kind of supple, honestly. Uh, it looks very structured if you see it from afar, but if you touch it, um, it is actually kind of supple. So in my opinion, it's good to have an organizer to keep its shape. Um, in general, I think this is mostly in the more um, medium-sized bag. It is not too small, it is not too big um the inner lining is a microfiber lining just like any other else um and um there are a lot of things that you can put inside so it comes with a strap where you can use it as a shoulder bag and a crossbody bag so uh, the most common thing in this is that if with the knot itself can it be put as a shoulder carry the answer is no the shoulder carry um I mean the handle space between the zip and the the handle itself is too short to carry it as a shoulder strap a lot of my aunties out there <laughs> would want it to be um to be straight to their shoulders no it cannot be done i have to shut the curtains because it's distracting all right so going back with the strap it is a chain and a leather strap which is adjustable which is good however in my opinion, it's kind of bulky to really be a crossbody bag. Um, it's more circlish. Maybe it's just my belt because I am kind of short and a little bit plump. <laughs> and a plump bag wouldn't really suit me. So I think for a taller woman or a more uh, slimmer, I think this one would be good with a shoulder strap. However, yeah, in my opinion, I am no designer, but if they made the knot uh, and the space between the knot and the zipper a little bit higher and you can put it on your shoulders it's gonna be perfect it, it will look like a cute Japanese hobo bag now the other downside I see from this is the zipper the zipper is too narrow it's so hard to put things inside good news your your long wallet and other things such as small umbrellas and water bottles can definitely fit inside but it's a struggle to put things in this is a video of me putting in a zippy wallet it's hard but if it doesn't bother you it's fine it's spacious but that's the other downside that i see from this so this comes in two color the cream and the galette which is the galette is more on the gray side i love the cream but again uh, cream is high maintenance you have to be mindful of a color transfer especially if you're wearing jeans and that's a known fact do not ask a ca if a white <laughs> will get easily dirty because it will Let's go with the price. The price is 5950 It's more on the high price. I said that earlier because this is a Mahina leather. Mahina leather is very exclusive because it doesn't come with other material. Whatever bag that comes in a Mahina leather does not come with any other leather or even canvas. So that you pay for the exclusivity and the special finish of leather. Now, my personal opinion, it's not convenient, but if... If it's me, I find it really cute and I would buy it if it's me because of the cuteness. If I have extra money to buy it, I would. I would add this to my collection because the shape and the look is actually very unique. It's uh, kind of like a status bag in my opinion and not to really be um, carried 
from day to day so uh, that is I think the, the advantage of that it is being unique and exclusive um, the only downside yeah the zip uh, I don't mind carrying it with a shoulder strap but uh, if the shoulder strap is a little bit thicker I think it would have been better uh, but hand carrying it is the best thing it is also lightweight so it's good for my aunties out there that want a uh, lightweight leather bag and uh, it's perfect it's just that the price point is, price point is a little bit higher but exclusivity is priceless um, this is just going to be a very short review about it um, in general I like it and I would really suggest it it depends on the individual on what their priorities is if your priority is to really a convenient bag um, I wouldn't recommend this because uh, the zip is kind of hard to navigate not navigate to, to, to put things inside so yeah that's all I can say about this video and it's time for me to cook dinner because my husband is coming soon and I will see you on my next review bye